Trini and myself have the honor of giving a toast on behalf of the nutrition graduating class of 2012 to our staff and faculty. To begin our toast, we would like to look back on the past four years and speak about each person in turn to help reflect on the impact that they had on our lives. For this, I will turn the microphone over to Trini. Dr. Shauna Berenbaum, I'm pretty sure you never sleep. There's no way you could with the amount of time and energy you devote to your students. You were even willing to dress up like Luke Skywalker and defeat the dark side for us. Some of the best memories we'll cherish are the many parties you hosted for us at your house and the always full wine glasses you supplied. I also have two tips for anyone who wants to stay on Shauna's good side. Number one, know what the determinants of health are. And number two, Never, under any circumstance, use the word utilize. <laughs> Dr. Gordon Zello, you're either asking us the hard questions or laughing at us because we don't really answer. <laughs> you have an amazing energy and you're always smiling. Personally, I will always remember the time I told you I was going to successfully complete internship and you actually jumped up and down with excitement. <laughs> Also, something for you to keep in mind tonight, we all know that the liver is your favorite organ. So, we're going to be watching to make sure you don't do too much damage. <laughs> Dray Walker, you're so patient and understanding and willing to go above and beyond to help each and every student you encounter. You have a smile that lights up the room and a genuine caring spirit that can warm anyone's heart. We were so lucky to have a professor like you to guide us on our journeys. You've benefited us both professionally and personally. Dr. Susan Whiting, your friendly, inquisitive nature is so inviting, and your door is always open. And you are always available for questions or just to have a nice chat. Although somehow I'm not sure how you manage to, but you can turn any conversation into a conversation about calcium and vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always remember you as our caring, intelligent vitamin D guru. <laughs> Dr. Phyllis Patterson, you taught us clinical nutrition, a very big topic that spanned two semesters. Your notes were amazingly thorough, and I'm sure we'll be referring to them throughout our careers. Um, we'll remember your devotion to answering any and all of our questions with 100% thoroughness, even if it took you three different class times for us to fully understand. <laughs> and Dr. Brian Batty, I think we'll remember you as the voice of reason in a class of nutrition students and agriculture students where we went head to head on many current issues. <laughs> one story I know none of us will ever forget is the one you told of uh, traveling across the border in the 70s with your long hair and beard. In your bus, on your way to a free radical conference, <laughs> at a time when no one knew what a free radical was, <laughs> I'm sure the border guards considered you very suspicious because we all know how evil those free radicals can be. <laughs> also, I speak for the entire class when I say that the video you showed us, the Star Wars themed vegetable video, was the highlight of our nutrition careers. <laughs> for a lot of us uh, was Nutrition 120. The inspired way you teach undeniably touches and changes a lot of lives. I know none of us will ever forget the way you threw yourself into the role of an eight-year-old child in one of Sean's role-playing sessions. <laughs> I mean, you literally threw yourself on the floor and had a tantrum, refusing to eat your vegetables and to break character. It was awesome. <laughs> You're so dedicated and passionate about teaching, and it really comes through in all of your classes. Whenever we see someone speed walking down the halls of Thorvalson, we'll think of you. <laughs> Um, Dr. Carol Henry um, is currently in Africa right now with several U of S nutrition students. One of them is Chelsea Brown from our class. Chelsea really wanted to be part of the night, so she sent me this to say about Carol. Dr. Carol Henry has such a passion and dedication and quality of research, which allows her to travel all over the world to help many people in need. She is very ambitious with all the projects she takes on and does not stand for any foolishness or let anything get in her way. Chelsea and Carol also wanted me to let everyone know they'll be joining in this toast from Africa with some ginger tea. We also need to acknowledge some of the others who played an important role in our university education. Norma Greer, she taught us how we run a kitchen and how to keep ourselves and our food safe. And I don't know if any of my other classmates had this experience, but I will always remember the first time I saw her without a hairnet and I had no idea who she was. <laughs> Joyous people to be around. You 
laugh is wonderful and infectious, and I know we're all glad you were around to remind us not to take life so seriously. Doctor has not only been for us, um, Garrett was, who also isn't um, here tonight, he spent the most time with Dr. Hassan, and he sent me this to say about him. Dr. Hassan is an extremely intelligent, kind, and good-natured person. He is an exceptional researcher and has a passion for teaching. Hassan would always welcome students coming to his door with a warm smile, a handshake, like a vice grip, and his full attention. For Hassan, the student's education always came first. And Dr. David Hill, our dean, we'd like to thank him for checking in to see how we were doing in school and listening to our ideas and suggestions. Although I don't think many of us are really aware of all he did behind the scenes, but we do know he did open and close an event with the best of them. Um, Heather Dawson, if she's the one responsible for the alumni chapstick, I just want to personally thank her. <laughs> Every time I put it on, I feel really important. <laughs> and I also want to thank her for the events that she planned for us, for always being there to support us when we were trying unsuccessfully to plan our own event. And to the office admin staff, I'm sure they saw some of our most frazzled times. Trying to turn in assignments on time, eating things printed when the printers were jammed, begging for copies when our coffee cards were empty, and grabbing the NRBC and running off like we were crazed. They were always there to listen and we really appreciate it. Thank you, Tree. It is obvious that all of these people have left lasting impressions on us and will not be forgotten as we move into past university and into our careers as dietitians. Over the past four years, our college faculty have provided us with a wealth of knowledge about nutrition, which provided the foundation to help us be successful in both our internship year and in our current or future positions as dietitians in the workforce. Now that we have graduated, we realize the challenging task that our faculty had in teaching us subjects which have such an intrinsic practical aspect. Our faculty thought of creative ways to give us this practical experience through such things as laboratory exercises and guest speakers, often bringing in dietitians, motivational interview role playing, interprofessional activities, and food service field placements, just to name a few. Through this past year, I am sure that we all found ourselves thinking back to what we learned from our professors when we were considering how to assess a patient what questions to ask a client during a counseling session, or how to approach one of our many food service projects. Our professors and the college staff were always available to answer our questions, give us feedback on our assignments and projects, and ultimately help us become better health professionals. Because we were in such a small class, I feel that we were given a great opportunity to get to know our faculty and staff, and vice versa. Whenever I come back to Thorvaldson, I am greeted with the friendly and happy faces of our faculty and staff in the college and enjoy catching up with them and sharing how things are going. The relationships that have been built between the faculty and staff in the college and the students in our graduating class truly help to make Thorvaldson feel more like a home rather than just a place to complete our degree requirements. On behalf of the nutrition graduating class of 2012, Please join us in raising our glasses and a toast to the faculty and staff of the Division of Nutrition and Dietetics. We do not have that. Water glass. <laughs> Good plan.